So I'm having a humbling experience practicing my new hard trick room team. I shouldn't need to practice it. I've played this to high ladder on uh, Showdown, but it's ab doing absolutely terrible now <laughs> on Cartridge, so it's weird how that works sometimes. So uh, I don't have any good comments to make about the team right now. Uh, it's doing awful right now. Okay, let's see here. The D Knight's a problem with Ice Spinner. Uh, we're gonna lead Final Gambit to try and kill uh, the D Knight if possible. We're gonna bring in Didi in the back for the Psychic Surge and to stop E Speeds. Uh, leave us who we wanted. I think we wanna go Hattering. I don't like Torkoal here because it gets walled by both Iron Thorns and D Knight and Salamence, so I'm not sure this is the best Torkoal game. I think we lead Psy Spam. I think we lead Gambit, Trick Room user, and then Psy Spam in the back. So uh, here's the first video of me trying to redeem myself. Uh, I generally know what I'm doing with this team, but it has not been doing well these last couple of matches. So I guess people on Cartridge are just way more prepared for hard trick room than people are on Showdown. Because uh, on Showdown, this is probably my best team. So we led Armor Rouge rather than Indeed, and uh, rather than Hatterene here, because my Arm Rouge has Covert Cloak in case they lead the Iron Hands. Uh, that'll let me deal with it more effectively because uh, it won't take the fake out. Okay, that's what we want to see. Is it what we want to see? I have a question of who I want to take out here. Because, like, instinctively I'd want a final Gambit the Dragon Knight, right? But, uh, the Iron Thorns is probably more dangerous, given that it's ac it can actually kill my, uh, Armor Rouge. Now, I know many of them run Terra Bug Pin Missile, so if they get this hard read, I, you know what good for them. I think D Knight is usually more of a problem, but like if an Iron Thorns beats me because they make a hard read, that's pretty poggers for them. Loaded Dice, Rock Blast might even just straight up kill me. Yep, they got me. They did not get me. <laughs> I thought they got me, but they didn't. Terror Blast. So many. Uh, Iron Thorns run, uh, Terra Bug, actually, Pin Missile with Loaded Dice to guarantee for out in the five hits. Uh, so if they hard read me to Terra Grass here, which is, you know, the obvious Terra for Armor Rouge, then they, they would have gotten me pretty good there. So nope, we get rid of the big threat. And then, presuming they went for a ground move here, uh, we're gonna be cooking. That was Terra Rock, my bad. Assuming we don't get flinched here. Okay. Now the question is whether I want to re lead Hatterene or... Uh... Okay. So I'm going to... Terra Psychic. I'm expecting a fake out from one of them. And then the subsequent turn I can follow me Dazzling Gleam. That Rock Slide did a lot of damage, so... Uh, now I wish I had brought Torkoal. Now do I? I don't think so, actually. 
So the reason we're gonna go in DD here is we're expecting a fake out from the Iron Hands. I don't think, this definitely doesn't kill the Iron Thorns, uh, but hopefully it allows me to do enough damage that Armor Rouge can start expanding. So hopefully they faked out here. That would be ideal, so we don't take a double hit. They did not fake out here, so we could have just taken the double. Oh my goodness, indeed, Hatterene Storm. So I'm running Life Orb on my Hatterene because uh, Dazzling Gleam uh, doesn't do all that much damage by itself, so. Okay, and uh, a Helping Hand Psychic should kill that I'm not worried about the Iron Bundle. I'm just going, I presume it's uh, Assault Vest on the Iron Hands. I'm just gonna Helping Hand Psychic. And make sure it goes down and then I can just follow me Psychic and clean up the game. Uh, the Bundle should be Sash. Uh, I'm no longer worried about it. Hatterene's the slowest thing on the field, which means it's the fastest thing on the field because we're in Trick Room. Uh, we just Helping Hand Psychic make sure we kill the Iron Hands. We know it can't Terra anymore, so it should die from this because it's weak to it. Uh, and then the Iron Bundle can't 1v3s. So I was in trouble there. Okay, I was in trouble there if... Uh, if he had to not get that kill on the Iron Thorns, but Hatterene is very, very strong, so. Life Orb Hatterene is a tactical nuke. So I'll explain the sets uh, at the end when I finish with these videos. Uh, but I'm running Dark Pulse for the Armor Rouge Mirror. not even focus session, so I don't know what it was. It might have been Covert Cloak, though. So Hatterene, just a monster picking up three KOs on three different psychics. So that's why I like Life Orb Hatterene. I know in tournament, the go-to right now is to run Covert Cloak, uh, so that Hatterene is just a catch-all against pretty much all measures of stopping Trick Room from going up. Uh, and that would, because of Magic Hatterene's ability Magic Bounce, it already stops things like Spore, Taunt, Status Conditions, uh, things like that. And so if you put Covert Cloak on it, it stops Fake Out as well. Okay, one step towards recli reclimbing up. So I lost like four out of five. Uh, so I've been waiting so long to get an NDD with Trick Row only for me to start getting bodied by it. That's not going to deter me. I don't mind losing because there's absolutely nothing to play for anyway besides for fun anyway. Uh, so my next two teams are going to be Trick Room-ish too. Uh, I'm going to run an app out Lily Cole team. Uh, and then the other one, uh, I'm going to run uh, a sort of snow team with the Trick Room mode because I've got the MDD. So I'm in a tricky spot here. Actually, because uh, I like Annihilate Final Gambiting because of the stupid Dragonite right now who's picking up in usage. Dragonite uh, ice has the move Ice Spinner, which gets rid of Terrain, which is annoying because I'm running a Psychic Terrain Trick Room team. Uh, they are running Dondozo without Tatsugiri, though. So, Annihilate looks good into a grand total of only one Pokemon on their team, which, uh, which is the Dragonite. So who would be the next best? I think Armor Rouge, probably, would be the next best one. Okay. We probably do want Torkoal because of the Gold Dango. Now the question is, do we care about 
Uh, and the last one will go back to me. Just because it's good and strong. So this is an interesting team. So I'm very much hoping they, bro they led D-Knight. D-Knights never run Protect. They either run Assault, Vest, or Choice Band. Uh, the problem is the is Annihilate looks terrible into the rest of the team. So that's about as bad as it could have gone. So we're going to U-turn here, and we're going to try and trick room. Now, there's actually something... We do have a contingency plan here, which is... Uh, in case they do kill the Armor Rouge, which I think they will here, uh, I can try and find... Oh my goodness, that worked out well. So are they going to run Trick Room themselves? I wonder why they didn't Final Gambit. So we're going to break the Mimikyu's Disguise. We're going to bring in Hatterene. That is a bizarre thing to do. So I'm gonna take a good chunk of damage every turn, but uh, I don't think I really mind that. So I'm gonna Dazzling Gleam here. And then honestly, I don't care if Armor Rouge goes down because uh, that lets, because like I expect him to wave. So Don Dozo should be faster now. Uh, and then I'll save the Terra for Torkoal. Gets a little chip. That's what we to get rid of the Mimikyu. And I'm expecting an Earthquake or a Wave Crash into the Armor Rouge. That's the Wave Crash. Into the Ndidi. So he's gonna give me his Dondozo here. It's not quite, but uh, that's enough that Dazzling Gleam from Hatterene kicks it out. So I hope he knows that the curse is like still a ways from, still two ticks away. So I have to end this game within the Trick Room turns. This is why uh, we have Ndidi. I'm going to double. We know that... We know that Goldengo is your last Pokemon, and we get a disconnect. If I was actually making content, I would have to edit these out, but uh, the game just doesn't work, unfortunately, sometimes. So that's why we run Dark Pulse on Hatterene. If we get the kill there, we should have the game sealed because Torkoal just picks up the double knockout with Eruption next turn. So no one got ruled either way in that one. So I don't know what those type of disconnects are labeled as. Because when people rage quit, they usually uh, mark something either way. Okay. So once again, I kind of like the Annihilate weed. Uh, actually, do I? Uh, so Arcanine is less of a problem than you'd expect for me because I run in Covert Cloak on the Armors. The Garganical is annoying, but it can be dealt with. 
Actually, I think I am going to read, read the Annihilate uh, and the Armor Rouge. Now, good chance they tear a ghost. the Gargantical if I lead and highlight. So we're gonna go Brute, bra brute Bonnet to try and deal with the Gargantical. And then I think that leaves us in D. Because I do think we want Psychic Terrain to deal with uh, the top three Pokemon there. Now the reason we're not bringing Torkoal is because the Garganical has Wide Guard. We need to take care of the Garganical before we would start eruptioning everything. Uh, and that would burn my Trick Room turns, so... Okay, let's see which one's Booster Energy, which one's Sash. That one's Booster Energy. Not what I was expecting. Actually, we don't need to U-turn here. Just Shadow Claw. So unfortunately, we do not speed the outspeed the Iron Claw because that thing is too fucking fast. So we're gonna hope they don't read this, and if they go for the Hydro. Do I take the double ups though is the question. Uh, so it's not the end of the world if I can't. They did read it, good for them. So unfortunately that's Sash. And Dazzling Green just takes care of this. Good and bad news. Uh, the good news is I have another Trick Room user. The bad news is I've let my main damage dealer go down. And I burn my Terra. So I'm expecting a Protect. From the Flutter main. I mean, we don't have anything to gain by going for the bundle. So this is why we bring multiple Trick Room mods. The problem with hard Trick Room is that figuring out my leads is the hard part on up, up the ladder. Fluttermane, and now we're gonna still get our Trick Room up. The problem is, is that my Annihilate is Scarf, so it's slow as fuck. It will outspeed the bundle, which is still the slowest thing in the field. Uh, but now we have to let Brute Bonnet try and carry us through this. Okay, Brute Bonnet does beat that. So the thing is, we actually want Garganical to go down. I mean, the Iron Bundle just protects it, right? So maybe I'll bring in Brute Bonnet, and the Psychic once for the culture. I think it's the Garganical who protects this time. So what I'm going to do is bullet seed that.
and psychic that slot to cover a switch. Yeah. Yep, there's the switch. Sad that Indeedee is now my main form of damage. Oh, but I don't think he has any good damage into my team. There's a Terra Ghost. We still can deal with that. Now we can deal with it with uh, Pretty much we have to deal with it with Crunch now. So there's a special place in hell for a couple of types of users. One is Dondozo users. That, but the biggest though is uh, organical users and then people like myself who run uh, uh, low again with sleep powder. Damn, indeed he is <laughs> kicking butt out there. So unfortunately, we've got to very much preserve our blue product. Because it is really... If we can get rid of the Arcanine, Brute Bonnet wins the one-on-one -on -one versus Garganical. So what we do is bring in Annihilate. And just keep psychic in that slot. Doesn't look good, but it doesn't look, but it looks doable at least. Uh, I suppose the Arcanines probably got protect because they're all running that these days. The Psychic Crunch probably handles this, takes care of the Arcanine, but uh, I think I want to get rid of the Intimidate. And uh, Annihilate can do some decent chunk into the into the Indeedy. Let's see who targeted. Indeedy, okay. I think that can, I think he knocks himself. Oh, not quite. Turns a trick room in my working with. So this is the last turn. I think it's worth preserving. No, I, I can't risk a switch. So that was, that paid off well. Um, that was a toss on his part. So the reason I close combat it is I outspeed the, the iron bundle now. Now, unfortunately, it's not going to kill, but, uh... If the close combat killed, I have this game, I think, won, because I think the... Uh, the Brute Bonnet, if it can two-shot, because it should outspeed the Garganical. Bundle. Yeah, I think we might as well just double target the iron bundle slot. Uh, we're f well, nah. I think we're f we're fucked anyway if it doesn't kill. So we might as well target the again. 
So I'm relying on Brute Bonnet to do this because Annihilate can literally not hit with uh, Garganical. So it's a good reason we crunched there. Uh, so uh, this is... You might have tossed there. Yeah, that's a two shot. Now we might as well target the the iron bundle. I don't think we live the freeze dry, so I think we really need this to kill. And it does. <laughs> Look at Annihilate go. So I think we should have this game won now. We managed to pull that one back even after that disastrous turn one. And look at that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty proud of how I'm well, maneuvered pretty well at the end there. Uh, I think they tossed with, they helped me out though, uh, with, they, they, with the recover on the Garganical. They absolutely should not have done that. Uh, they should have salt cured my Indeedee. So they, did, they didn't kill it because they know it would die to salt cure at the end of the turn. But uh, that allowed me to kill the Arcanine on uh, that turn. Uh, which allowed me to lock into close combat instead. Okay. Two wins in a row with a disconnect in between them. The disconnect game would have been interesting because that depended on Dark Pulse killing. And I don't know if Sarah Ledge is as bulky as Armor is. Okay. Obnoxious stuff. So we are going to lead Ndidi Hatterene here. Uh, because of this. So I like leading. Actually, we don't have to do that. So this is a lead I don't do very often, but I've got two ways of redirection plus Trick Room. I have Brute Bonnet and I have Ndidi. Ndidi's usually better because it sets Psychic Terrain at the same time. But, uh... No, 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 I think we, I think we want to lead Ndidi. We lead Ndidi... Hatterene, I think, is the lead to deal with the Grim Snarl. unfortunately. Torkoal's an absolute must in this game. Now the question is who to back up Torkoal. It's between Armor Rouge and Brute Bonnet. I think we want Armor Rouge here. I think we want the Psychic Spread Damage. Potentially, if we can get rid of the, uh, if we can get rid of the, uh, which Grim Snarl. So usually, what I like to do is just final game a Grim Snarl. If this is just screams. stuff. So I'm going to be bold and brash. Do I want to bring in Cole or Hatter? I'm going to bring in... I'm going to bring in Torkoal. Yeah, I'm going to trick her up. We're going to play very aggressively here. Because they're gonna go for a defensive play here, so we're gonna have to get our offense in shape. So we could have led Annihilate, but they had two ghost types. Final Gambit can't hit ghost types. There's a Terra Fire. Let's see if they bulk up or. Uh, 
immediately went for damage. I assume this is a light screen. Oh, just a misty terrain. To dazzling gleam because we need to get rid of the grim snarl. And to cover the annihilate protecting. This does give it multiple rage stack boosts, but uh, I think that's fine. So he's got a light screen here, and then we can bring in armor rouge and sensitive. Yeah, I really wish I had brought... You just set Misty Terrain, buddy. So hopefully we can... So they're not gonna get screens up. I'm gonna take this as an absolute win. So that just... Oh my goodness, I could have just won the game. I'd psychic. I had psychic but I didn't think... I thought he would scream. <laughs> so I assume... Hatterene goes down here. I think that's a mistake, because there's no way this goes. Yeah. You know, got closer than I would have liked. Uh, so I still have super powerful heat waves. And uh, Katarine can st double tap things with Psychic. So I guess he just wasn't running screens on his grid. So. Yeah, so we still have NDD armor in the back. We just heat wave, dazzling wave. Perfect. Should have psychic to guarantee. It's just a double protect. Okay. To get leftovers recovery. So they're in rough shape because even when trick room ends up ends, I literally have two trick room users in the back and one of them has redirection. So I can just follow me trick room again, set psychic terrain, and then we just click expanding force. So let's double check how many turns of trick room we got. We have two. Uh, so I'm going to heat wave. I'm gonna make sure we kill the Annihilator. I'm not too worried about the damage from the Flutter Main. Because ironically, I think the Indeedee wall sets, so. We might be able to pick up the double knockout with the Heat Wave Dazzling Gleam, but I don't wanna risk it. went for the double. Oh, could have easily just won the game again. Torkoal's doing way more damage than I was thinking. <laughs> so. I guess the Flutter main went for the double. So here's just a double protect. Here is a safe play. Uh, so I'm gonna swap in indeed. I'm gonna Dazzling Gleam. And this lets always lets me guarantee check him. Up the next turn. And if he doesn't protect both of his mons, uh, Katarine kills one of them.
Now we just follow me, Trick Room. I don't think Icy Wind. So we have to do that to make sure that they don't click Shadow Ball. I don't think an Icy Wind. That's a Rage Quit. I'm gonna be so upset if I don't get the points for that one. That one's absolutely a Rage Quit. Because they're about to get 4 0'd. Okay, yeah, I did get the points for that one though. So they did they did recognize it as a rage quit that time. So yeah, we just follow me trick from there. I, they would have to get a crit on an icy wind dazzling gleam. Uh Don Dozo my hated. So they have spread stuff, unfortunately. Because they have spread stuff. So they have the Garchomp. Sense. And they also have T Flame Earthquake stuff. Uh -huh. hmm. They can't. Hatterene. So I think this is my play. Annihilate can hit every single one of them unless one of them is Terra Ghost, except the Golden Go. The worst lead would be uh, Iron Bundle Go Dango. What I brought. So there's sash on their on their bundle. Gotta be called to protect correctly. This should just win the game. Just a double protect. We should, that should still just win us the game. Because <laughs> I get trick from up guaranteed. to bring in Brute Bonnet. I'm going to Dazzle. Uh, so we still have a lot of work to do, but it, if they hadn't protected the Don Dozo, we just win the game. So we guarantee Trick Room with that. So the thing about Annihilate on in uh, Open Ladder is I don't know which Mons are running Protect, which makes those sorts of situations up. So I could have very easy, like I could have very easily just let uh, uh, Armor Rouge and Ndidi. That would have worked better for what they brought. Oh, we trick room. Annihilate for Scarf Final Gambit. Brute Bonnet's not taking much damage. And uh, this situation also looks pretty good because 
we can rage powder trick room later. So we will bullet seed and psychic. We could spore. So the reason I'm not gonna do any aggressive switching is because I like the, the setup we have here, which is follow me trick room user for when the trick room ends. So they have not used their Terra. I almost certainly think they're going to use it soon. I really want a Spore. But if you're Substitute, there's a good chance you're Resto Chesto, right? If you're Resto Chesto, though, we might as well just spore you twice. Because they're also gonna Terra here. Yeah, there's the Terra, so Bullet Seed wasn't gonna do anything anyway. Terra Steel, now Torpo breaks this. Provided we can get Trick Room again. Now the issue is whether the Psychic breaks this, the sub. It does not. It doesn't look like it. Uh, hopefully he killed, uh... Also not perfect because uh, I don't have a trick from user anymore. I really thought that would still bring the sub. Hattering's pretty strong, but I suppose I'm out of the psychic too. That. <clears throat> I don't think there is. Yeah, I really should have let in DD Armor Rouge. Would have ate this up. Okay, now the bright side is that uh, we can get the spore afterwards. Got a Terra Fire here, I think, to get the kill. Uh, another Dondozo match where I blow it. Because I managed to run into the one with substitutes where I couldn't break a sub on one turn. That does absolutely nothing. Sub group on it. Is that a crit on Torkoal? Dozo down. Unfortunately, we are very slow. <laughs> and, uh... My 
my one wish that Tatsugiri would die with Don Dozer will never be realized, so. So we know that close combat kills Bundle. So you should just bring an iron bundle in here, right? If you have it. You just freeze dry muddy water. All these disconnects are from these. I always just spore that. Yes. This is just a protect earthquake or a dragon claw. Muddy water. Absolutely not. That's the. That's very much the wrong play now. <laughs> if I had Sucker Punch, it'd be absolutely the wrong play. So unfortunately, I'm pretty sure their scarf as well, and they're gonna be a faster scarf. So we gotta hope they miss a Drake on the year. But uh, the reason I don't run Sucker Punch on my Brute Bonnet is I'm running on a Psy Spam team, so you can't Sucker Punch in Psychic Terrain unless you're targeting a Flying type, so. But we know they're Scarf since they are faster than the Garchomp, so. They don't miss, so we <laughs> don't lose. <laughs> this is why uh, my most infuriating thing about Don Dozo is even if you kill the Don Dozo, you've got a 1v3. You've got to deal with the Tatsugiri. It's not like Tatsugiri is a bad Pokemon. It is a Pokemon with 120 speed. <laughs> I mean, 120 special attack. So the reason they're a faster Scarf is because I am a Maybe they weren't Sash, but... The only way we can win is if they were, worse, weren't Sash, I know. We got lucky. Not sure why you'd give me a Defiant boost, but... You are now faster, so you can just kill me the subsequent turn. Yeah, and DD Armor was the team to bring. I wonder why I didn't bring it. <laughs> remember what the rest of their team was like. I'll do one more. They're on a good streak until then.
We played literally this exact team just a second ago. Uh, we got lucky, so. We do this. So last time we brought the Annihilate, this time I think we just go with the more straightforward route. So, uh, Helping Hand Psychic might kill Gargantical. Honestly. Should have let Armourage. For, you know, for the most, you know, I think one of the most hated leads in the game right now in DD Armourage. I'm not leading it very often, am I? Because I should be leading it because I have Covert Cloak in case they lead Arcanine and they want to snarl. Unfortunately, magic bounce does not reflect stones. I just lead offense, which makes me happy. So we just follow me and we trick room. Make sure they they're not gonna click shadow ball, but so we can but uh, redirecting any iron bundle attack as well. And here's a dazzling gleam. They're just gonna protect next turn. It's a moon blast, good thing we followed need. That looks like specs damage. That absolutely looks like specs damage. What I'm going to do is helping hand. Psychic, because I am expecting a protect from the Flutter Man. And once we get rid of the Garganical Armor, it goes crazy. I don't know what they expected me to... Oh, I suppose I could Dazzling Gleam. But that's why we need to get rid of the Garganical. Okay, that's fine. Part of me thinks that was Specs. Yeah, I'm calling them out. I think that was Specs. We're gonna pull it seed into that slot. Or a psychic. That did a lot of damage. Is Fluttermane really just that strong? I guess they thought. Terra Fairy. Sure is. You're still gonna die. Yeah, so that is choice specs. Bullet Seed absolutely kills us. I'm low on dice. You can't wide guard and protect, buddy. <laughs> you learn new things every time, huh? But I did not crunch with my excellent foresight. Oh, yeah. I get guaranteed more. Good chance, 55 chance, 
five, so that's why we unloaded dice. We have not used our Terra. They have lost theirs. That's why we brought in Brute Bonnet, because our damage intuition let us realize that that was Specs. Two turns of Psychic Terrain. Here is our Terrastalize target. I think the Iron Bundle protects here, so I think we always just kill the Iron Hands. So we remove our Fighting Weakness, we remove our Ice Weakness with the Iron Bundle, and uh, that should win it for us, I think. I am suspecting the Iron Bundle to protect here. It's not. I don't think it matters, but I think this double up does. This double up definitely kills, because that almost killed. Holy crap, Hattery. Even without Trick Room, he can't beat the Brute on it. It. Uh, special attack is garbage. We know it's booster energy, uh, so we don't need to worry about safety goggles. He's got to kill one. He's got to target one of them. He can only target one of them. So, so that just guarantees Trick Room goes up. Like I said, we, I didn't need to do this, but this is the opt. This is the guaranteed way. Uh, in case that he, I do come. Did kill. This covers both. And now it doesn't matter. It's a brute bot it put in work. Not match. Okay. A lot of matches there. I'll play a lot more matches with this team to try and redeem myself because uh, I was on quite a losing streak, but. I was able to mostly get wins for this one, so. Uh, so I will end it there, and like I said, I'll talk about the team and uh, the showdown based uh, after. Let's see if we're back into the 2000s after my losing streak. Yep, back into the 2000s. Uh, so I'll stop it there.